reason for you in the blunt. I love your titties cause they prove I can focus on the business. Boy, uh, Kanye West would say, drink more water or you might die. Who? Kanye West, mate. Mm, yes, Kanye said that. Oh, sorry, it was Lupe Fiasco. Oh, right. Don't you mean oh, B.O.B.? No. Did you say B.O.B.? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he thinks the world's play. He doesn't think water exists. Hello, we're Jungle Beats today. We're here to do a review of Mick Jenkins' new single came today with Jungle Beats. My name is... Uh, blah, 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 blah. This is my friend. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Alexander Sandalis? <laughs> Fuck no. If, Mick... I, if I was you, I'd be drowning in pussy. <laughs> The one of the most uh, talented, eclectic artists who are still relatively haven't made it to the mainstream yet, Mick Jenkins, has just released a new single called Bruce Banner. I think this is going to bang. And uh, to accompany this, he's released his released released the title of his new album, Pieces of a Man, which has been releasing in the next couple of months. Why do you think it's going to bang? Because of the title and because of the cover. Yeah, but Bruce Banner, he could be playing along the lines of someone who's struggling with his inner demons. Because remember, Bruce Banner, when he turns, he turns into the Hulk. That's a good point. But I look at the cover, and it just seems dark, grimy, and just like it's going gonna, it's gonna to hit. Yeah. So, that's just my anticipation. Mick, if you don't know who Mick Jenkins is, you got to watch this right here. Check this single out. Mick Jenkins, incredible artist. Chicago represent. Even though he wasn't born there, but motherfuckers don't seem to care. He wasn't born there, but he's, he's grown up there. Yeah, exactly. Man, I mean, we had this conversation before, man. We was, did. We I did. was we born did. somewhere, but I don't give a fuck that I'm from there, man. I'm not the fucking from there. I'm not a rapper, I'm a writer. There's a couple chefs in this game. Yeah. And I'm a whole lot of writers. Dude, honestly, can't nobody come for me except Kendrick. Woo! And I hope you offend me. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Is he breathing? <laughs> ah. I think he really loves that beat. He must really love that beat because he didn't switch it up at all. The outro is nearly a minute long and it's just the same thing. I reckon he's really fucking with this heavy. Just the uh, beat, yeah. And maybe he didn't need to drop another verse because he already said so fucking much. He did, man. Like you said. What did you catch? I catch a lot of wordplay. I got some cool wordplays. Ooh. There was one cool line where he said they're watching TV until they Stevie. And that means until they go blind because Stevie Wonder. Right, right. So right. I think he, that... he uses Stevie a lot. Yeah. But like, um, really cool line there. Like I said, none of the rapping come up, come after me except for Kendrick. That was a... And I was like, I know y'all mad. <laughs> some shit like that. Just having that braggadociousness yeah, to his, that he's always kind of had. But he seemed passionate. His delivery yeah. seemed passionate. Energy. The way he like pronun pronunciated words at the end of the line, like, pah! Exactly. Like, just like, mm. like you felt it hit you every time and mm, it man. drew you into what he was saying. That's one beautiful thing about Mick Jenkins is you never not hear him hungry. Right. And like for someone to be still hungry after like three three albums and like two mixtapes or whatever the fuck he's done, like normally you hear people's hunger die off eventually. But I guess because Mick hasn't like Propelled as probably as much as he wanted to. He's just like he just wants it more than anyone else. I, uh, based on the convers last conversation we had with him, do you even think that's still a pro? Do you think that's a priority to him? No, I don't think he cares. Yeah, I, think, I reckon it's just about yeah. art and music. I think if it happens, it happens. So I feel like there is a part of him that wants to probably work yeah, with, I'm work, sure. like have the opportunity to work with people like Kendrick and work and actually work with like, different producers and artists. For sure. And he needs to be bigger to do that. But I think if it happens, it happens. Right. Like like you said, it's more about the art craft and doing his thing. Agreed. Um, and I'm glad I, I, I brought that up. Um, that's a great track. The energy's there. I, to critique it, look, 
Maybe a switch up would have been refreshing, especially towards the end. Maybe that out, long outro wasn't needed, but I'm happy with that. Yeah, I feel like there's a reason for that long outro. Maybe he just meant to ponder after what he said for that four minute outro. But then <laughs> again, like I said, I wouldn't. Maybe it's for a verse. Maybe it's still coming. Or fuck knows. Either way, it was dope, McJenkins. You, you you can fucking leave ten minute outros for I give a fuck. As long as your verses are dope. Yeah, Mick. Hey, if you don't know who Mick Jenkins is, um, check out his mixtape, uh, The Waters, Waves, and then the Healing Component album. And then on more the frustration, on more the anxious. Jesus Christ, he's got fuck, a discography. Got the trees and truth as well. We're gonna go back to the real beginning, yeah. But um, yeah. If if there's only one you want to listen to, go ahead, check out The Waters first, and yeah, then see what you one. feel. Mm -hmm. Um, Mick Jenkins, we're looking forward to Pieces of a Man. We'll be right on it. Exactly, man. Big fans of your work. Love what you're doing. Keep mm -hmm. it up. We jungle beats. We jungle beats, man. It was six o'clock in the eve. We thinking about going ham. Shots in New Amsterdam and Key was rolling the trees. A couple shorties came through. Shoulders cold as the breeze. Added a little liquor. Shoulders increased a couple degrees.